Hello all and welcome to the next video. Um, this one's going to be a little random and you're probably thinking like, like Winston. Um, <laughs> yeah. So basically a while back, um, I've, I've mentioned my friend Cranky before. We will find stuff for each other and send it to each other. Um, where I live, there's not a target. So he always checks his target. Um, he doesn't like going to Walmart, so he never goes to Walmart. So I'll always check my Walmart and we've traded back and forth. We've, um, bought, uh, found things for each other. Um, and in the last mailbag, you might notice that there was a box he sent me that had some stuff he had gotten for me that I was waiting for. Uh, mainly the, um, uh, Sir Daniel from the Funko Sir Daniel, uh, my in-game Thor that he painted up. I haven't unboxed it yet. We're going to take a look at that in, in a different video at a different time. Um, but when he initially sent me that, he was like, Hey, be on the lookout. I, I sent that today. He's like, it's a bigger box than normal, but that's because I put something in there. I put a surprise in there for you. And when I opened that box, it was the diamond select Winston Zedmore from Ghostbusters. Um, and I was really taken aback. Like it was a very kind gesture. He didn't have to do that. And it was really awesome. Um, anybody who doesn't know me, uh, my favorite Ghostbuster is Winston. Uh, I know Ray is a popular one. Like it almost seems like everybody likes the other ones and not Winston or they like Winston, but they just like, cause there's like no bad Ghostbuster. Let's be fair. Um, but Winston always kind of tend to be the, the low one on the totem pole. I think when, I like Winston. He's my favorite one. And my main reason for that is because he's kind of like the working man Ghostbuster. Like he doesn't really believe in this per se, but I just, I love the line where he's like, you know, if I get a check, I'll believe whatever you tell me type of thing. I like that. I just like that. He's like the kind of down, he's not a scientist. He's not this, he's not that. He's just a man doing his job kind of thing. Um, so I love Winston. He's my favorite Ghostbuster. Um, also I believe Winston is the de facto driver of the Ecto-1. So there you go. Um, but I had bought the Hasbro Ghostbuster from the Plasma series, which is a very disappointing line in my opinion. And I know there's a lot of people who really like them, but they're very small. Like they're even smaller than some of the black series toys, which are in their own right, sometimes run smaller. Um, but that Ghostbuster Plasma series line, just, they seemed smaller. Like they weren't a standard six inch line. Um, even though they're supposed to be. They weren't, the suits looked too bright, like, and not muddled up. They just, there, there was a lot of issues with them, but they had really good head sculpts. Um, that was like the big, uh, saving grace of those figures is they had really good head sculpts, but again, not really worth, in my opinion, picking up a whole set of, um, but I had bought Winston. I bought the Winston Hasbro just because I figured like, you know, I was never going to get this, um, or anything, but then all of a sudden Cranky pulls it out and, uh, yeah, and he got this because, um, actually, let's take a look at the back here. There's a Ray. His favorite Ghostbuster is Ray, and he was looking for that one because he bought the Hasbro Ray, the Plasma Series Ray. And again, he didn't like the suit. He didn't like the coloring on the suit, um, and that they were, it was just a very small figure. So he went looking for the Diamond Select Ray, and um, he said that he found Ray and Winston like on a lot on eBay. Like they were selling both of them and they were a really good price. And he just bought both of them. And he was like, and I know you love Winston. So here you go. Like, and you know, a very kind gesture. He didn't have to do that. So, uh, really, really happy about it. Um, yeah. So Winston's my favorite Ghostbuster and we're going to go ahead and open this. I know it's kind of random. Nobody really expects me to open, unbox like Ghostbuster stuff maybe, but I do love Ghostbusters and I love Winston. So we are going to unbox this. Um, I haven't owned a lot of Diamond Select toys uh, in my life as I just drop everything here. Um, apologies. Uh, whoa. So on the back of the box, like on the inside, there's this thing. These are like those, um, diamond, it says Art Asylum, but I always thought of them as like, uh, almost like Mega Blocks looking characters, figures. Um, there's the backdrop, kind of a cool looking backdrop on the uh, card for what it is. 
uh, yes, I do believe that uh, if you collected all the figures in this line, you could build the um, rooftop scene. So there's part of it. And then here's like part of the steps. So kind of interesting there. Um, let's we'll see if we can get this up. But I have, uh, as I was saying before, um, I haven't owned a whole lot of Diamond Select stuff. I had a Diamond Select Daredevil that I'm uh, actually getting rid of. Um, I might post a link to my Macari store at some point. Uh, it's just, there's something about a lot of the Diamond toys that, like, they're, sometimes their quality and their articulation isn't the greatest. Um, like that Daredevil, he has no ab crunch or torso joint, so he's just, like, very stationary. Which is really disappointing for a Daredevil figure. Um, so I'm still waiting for Marvel Legends to release like a classic Daredevil again I can pick up. Uh, but that being said, there's other times where I've had a, a, like a couple of diamonds that were good. Um, for instance, like the John Wick diamond was pretty good. And the Lord of the Rings diamond select toys that have been coming out are really good. Uh, I think I unboxed Gimli and Legacies on that. Uh, and I got the other ones coming in so I could build Sauron. So, looks like that just, that's going to go on there. So, we're not going to build that, because uh, I don't, I don't have the other figures to make the whole rooftop scene, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, we're just going to try to take a look at Winston. Nice. Let's go ahead and... Try to get out all of these accessories. There is a lot, which is great, in my opinion, to be fair. There's like tape all over this. Sorry, I'm trying to get it all like off. I got some of the hands out. Um, sorry, I apologize for the dead silence. There is just so much tape holding in all the accessories. I'm trying to get them all out. Um, and then I'm going to have to get my scissors again because there's a lot of twist ties on this guy. If you can hear that, that's me trying to scrape tape off. Mm, there we go. Okay. So, I'll go through these first. Again, I apologize for the dead silence there. Um, he comes with quite a bit of extra hands. Uh, first off, we have regular ungloved hands. Uh, these are just kind of regular kind of semi open hands um he has almost a closed fisted hand looks like he's got another semi open hand i guess if these are wrestling figures that'd be mike holding hands and then he comes with basically the same thing but they're uh sorry as i moved my camera but they're like uh gloved hands so cool there uh, and, like, the little part of the glove does come off, so you can interchange the hands. Uh, we have his walkie-talkie. Pretty simple, not a whole lot of detail going on with this. And then, probably one of the cooler um, accessories this comes with, we do have the ghost trap. And it's very well detailed, I'll give it that. Like, even with the pedal over here. I like it. I think the handle. No, that's right. It is. It does. The wire that it's on does feel kind of delicate, so I wouldn't pull that too hard if you own these. Um, but cool. It's cool to have a ghost trap. I like that. Um, okay, now we have to kind of work our way towards getting the Zed and the other accessory that's in here out. So I'm going to try to do that here. 
Okay, I think that worked. And it fell on the floor. Because of course. But we have the beam for the uh, proton pack. Or the wand, if you will. Really nice. It's orange with the blue kind of lightning effect. Um, I didn't pull out the Hasbro one just because it's buried in a box somewhere. <laughs> um, I remember that one looking pretty good. Uh, and this one looks pretty good too. I'd like to uh, kind of do a comparison between the two at some point. So who knows, maybe one day I'll dig out the uh, Plasma Series um, Z and compare the two effect beams. I wonder if they would work with each other. That'd be interesting. Um, so there we go. Okay. Last part, I gotta work through these twist ties to get Winston out. There's a lot of them, I apologize. Like every snap you hear is a twist tie. And they are all over this thing. I think I finally got them all. I hope. One, two, Three, sorry, four, five, there's one that just does not want to come out. Wow, okay. Who designed this? God damn. Oh my god. There's six twist ties, and this one on the foot would not cut. Like, what the hell? I apologize. Um, that took way longer than it should have. And it's still like, I'm having trouble cutting it. What the, what the hell is this? No, adamantium twist tie? Oh, okay, there we go. God. Oh, let it be known that uh, the Ghostbusters Diamond Select Winston on his um, left foot ankle has a adamantium twist tie that I could not cut until just now. Okay, let me get them all straightened out here. Oh, man. Okay. There we go. I apologize. That was a workout. Um, so here's our Diamond Select Winston. It looks really good. I mean, it's kind of um, unfair because even if the articulation of Diamond Select has never been the greatest, the detail on them has always been really good. Uh, so it's kind of unfair to probably compare the detail of a diamond select to a hasbro um to the plasma series ghostbusters especially in the costume if you just look at the costume like where his name is it looks more weathered more worn it's darker in color he's got the elbow pads you got all the wires the yellow wires there's all his little equipment on his utility belt the little grapple hooks um we got the wand and then of course the back you've got the really nice detailed proton pack um, yeah, 
probably unfair to try to compare these together, you know, uh, just because. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm trying to get the wand like in his hand, so apologies. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Now, if I have one complaint at all about this figure, I will say the head scan is probably not the best. I actually would probably give the Plasma Series Z the upper hand, or the upper, like the, the bigger nod in the head scan department. I think that head sculpt actually looks more like Ernie Hudson than this one. Not saying this is bad. I just think the, um, the Plasma Series uh, one actually probably does look a little bit more like Ernie Hudson. Um, but this one's still pretty cool. Uh, it still looks really good. It's got that young Ernie Hudson thing going. Uh, we got the wand in the hand there. So yeah, just a lot lot more detail. I mean, that's kind of what the um, the biggest thing on the Plasma series, I think the biggest complaint was, is take those head sculpts out and they just lacked a lot of detail. Um, even though they came with some cool accessories. Uh, so Winston here, he has that Diamond Select like side swi uh, side like hip joint. Um, I've never been the biggest fan of that on Diamond. I noticed the, um, I think John Wick had one when I unboxed that. And I know the Crow one that just came out has that, which I will not be getting. I'm actually getting the Mezco Crow. Um, but he does have jo uh, double jointed knees. I can't tell on the elbows just because the pad is in the way. But it looks like he has, I think, single jointed elbows. But they move, the arms move circular so doesn't really matter no uh um uh shoulder uh, not shoulder joint uh bicep swivel or anything like that um he does have a torso joint which actually his is more loose than some of the previous diamonds i've seen um so pretty good there no oh yeah he does have ankle pivot uh, he has a little bit of an ankle pivot it's not big um, but it's there. It looks good. Like, it's just, the the suit and everything is definitely much more detailed. However, I am going to give the nod to the Plasma series by Hasbro on the head sculpt. I think their head sculpt is actually a little bit better. Um, aside from that, though, uh, pretty good. Like, if you took this body, but put the Hasbro head on it, it'd be perfect. My thing is, is I don't think that Hasbro head is going to fit on here because it's a smaller figure. So it's probably going to look out of scale if you try to customize it. Um, but it's great. Like all the little, like they got the individual wire colors on the um, Proton Pack. And it's just fantastic. Um, looks like he does have a little thing here. I'm guessing that's for the radio. Uh, oh, drop the one. There you go. Yep. And then I guess if you want, you can wrap up your um, trap and put it on the belt on one of the hooks as well. Um, so, cool. A lot of cool stuff here. I really like it. Um, actually, no, the, the, the thing is going to go here, isn't it? Uh, upwards. Yeah, you gotta wrap it up again, though. Hold on. Let me see if I can wrap this back up and put it up. in Because it came in, uh, wrapped up, like, out of the box. Let me see if I can do that again. Looks like it goes right here. Okay, there we go.
All right, so yeah, the trap does go on that little peg that's on the side of the belt there. And there you go. We have our, it stands well. We have our Diamond Select Winston. I like it. Like I said, I do like it. I think um, the suit and all the accessories are way more detailed than that Plasma Series one ever is, ever has been. Um, uh, I do think it does lack a little bit on the head. Uh, that's my only real kind of minor complaint there. Everything else looks pretty damn great. Um, but that is that. And um, that's really my only minor complaint. Other than that, uh, I genuinely appreciate it. Like I said, my friend Cranky didn't have to get this for me, but he did. And I am extremely grateful that he did. It's nice to have the more accurate suit and everything. I, I genuinely do love it. So anyways, uh, thank you. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to, but um, I appreciate anybody who does. And that's about it. Um, and this is probably the only one of these Ghostbusters you're going to see. I don't really plan on going out of the way to get all the all four. As much as I would like to have all four Ghostbusters from Diamond Select, um, it's just not something that I'm going out of my way for right now. So uh, I only got Zed. He's my favorite one. So kind of only went with, kind of only got him. Um, I did the same thing with that plasma line, but that's it for this video. Um, and I will catch you guys in whatever the next one is.